Hey guys, I literally just got up. Um, but I wanted to share this tutorial video with you on how to do a handstand against the wall. Many people I know struggle with this and I just got taught by my friend yesterday on how to do one. So I figured I'd share it with you guys. Please subscribe if you want to get better at gymnastics. And if you're watching this and you're a subscriber, thank you for your support and you are awesome. So let's get into it. First, you're gonna want to go into your straddle and tuck your toes. And if you've seen my front walkover video, you're gonna want to put your hand to your foot and keep your head as close to the left side as possible. Now, you're gonna wanna hold this for about 10 seconds. Then when you're done with that, go to the right side and do the same. Just copy me and you can pause the video if we're going too fast. Okay, now the stretching is done. You're going to want to grab any sort of mat. So, I'm so sorry, guys. Oh, you're gonna want to get a mat and lay it against any wall as long as it's safe. And just push it as far as you can. In fact, let's move this ladder. Get out of here. You're going to want to push the mat against the wall. And let's see. After you lay the mat against the wall, you're going to want to put your foot like this so your good foot in front. So we're just going to practice um, regular handstands. We're going to get to this later. Put your foot down. Put your hands up, slowly go down. Keep on doing this. I'll do it with you guys. Nice. Now that we've done that, practice leaving one foot on the floor and one foot in the air. Keep your hands, your back and your legs straight at all times. And now that we've done that, take your one leg off the floor and slightly take your other off the floor as well. And if you learned how to do a front walkover, go ahead and do a couple of those if you'd like to. All right, that's the motion. Except when you're against the wall, it's more just going to be like a handstand, a half front walkover. So, now that we get to the wall, follow our steps, put the good foot in front, turn around, and put your hands down. Not too close to the wall so you don't bump your head. Do this a couple times. Now that you've done that, you're going to want to kick your, your other foot up. So keep the one on the ground, and just like with the front walkover video, you have to kind of kick both feet up when you're ready. So go from this to this. Once you're comfortable with that, keep on kicking harder and harder. Once you're up in the air a little more, you're going to want to put your feet together and point your toes. 
keep on doing this. We're gonna hit the wall later, so just bear with me, guys. I recommend that you put your hair in a ponytail if it's too long, so you don't step on it on the way up or injure yourself. Now, once you've done that a couple times, just keep on kicking harder and harder. So, kick harder like that, and now you gotta keep your arms straight. And don't just like to put in your heels against the wall, not exactly your feet. So let's do that again. See my heels? You're gonna wanna have straight arms, and then kick off with your heels to get back up. Do this a couple times. Make sure you still have the mat. And even if you can't hold it that long, you can still do it. Oh, I don't know. It was just like, I think the cats were like chasing each other or something. Because when it came down to that, I saw Coco's fur. Well, if they were sliding. They were heavy. Sorry, guys. Um, keep on doing this. Doesn't matter how long you hold it, just make sure your back and your legs are straight. Now I'm going to show you, once you've done that, once you start feeling comfortable, move the mat farther and farther away. So eventually, you get the point. And then just do a couple of those when you move the mat further and further. And then move the mat further. And then eventually, you can do it without a mat. So let's get this out. No, it's in there. Now, different kinds of hamstring. You're gonna to wanna to go down as you normally do with your heels against the wall. But this time, you're gonna to wanna to put your feet against the wall. So let me zoom in a little bit on what I'm doing. There we go, that should help. So, do your hamstring and put your heels against the wall, but Put one foot against the wall and the other, like you're tucking your knees. So you're just gonna wanna bend your knees with straight hand and straight back, straight as back as possible. So you're gonna wanna do these a couple times. If you don't feel comfortable, you can still keep the mat. And then eventually, as you keep on kicking, you're not gonna wanna land with your heels against the wall this time, but with one foot against the wall. Then put your other foot against the wall. Keep your back straight and your arms. Now push against the wall with your legs to come down like this. Don't push too hard though. You might land on your stomach. Now that's called a tuck hamstring. So let's go over all the steps now. Land with your heels against the wall. Put one foot and two feet. Keep your arms straight at all times. Keep your knees bent. Push your legs against the wall to get off. Land with one foot straight on the wall. Now put the other foot and do the same as the other time. Push to get off. That's your tuck hamstring. Now for a one leg tuck hamstring, you're doing the same as the tuck hamstring, landing with your heels
windows on the wall like you normal hands do. And just, you're just putting one foot against the wall. And pointing the other leg towards the ground. That's the one leg tuck handstand. And what you're going to do is go down into your normal handstand, put one leg against the wall, lift the other leg up. Keep your arms straight and, your, and one of your knees bent while the other one is straight. So now you get the picture. We're going to do that, except land with one foot on the wall instead of just get there. Now get down. Practice that a few times, actually. Now again, guys, if I'm going too fast, you can pause the video and subscribe if you haven't yet. And just in case you're a younger child, you should ask an adult for supervision or somebody that is trained in gymnastics or at least someone to spot you, like a guardian or a parent. <laughs> and then you're going to land like this. Keep your leg bent against the wall and point your other leg straight towards the ground like you're going down except you've got one leg on the wall so you're gonna want to keep your your one leg toe on the wall like you're pointing it because otherwise if you just put your foot flat on the wall and you're pointing the other leg towards the floor you're going to fall but if you're on your toe You get the picture. So, this is the one leg tuck handstand. Thank you for watching the video, and I hope you like it, and I hope this taught you how to do the two different kinds of handstands that I taught you. So, three, actually. So, have a great day, and you guys are awesome. Peace.